There could True. be something. Could be a trade. There could be a bigger trade happening. A two for one, you know, where Mavs send two people out for one and open up a roster spot. So, either way, if they're signing Frank Nilakina, it's probably for a cheap deal. And sign me up. Like, yeah, I, I love it relative, right? Like, I love it in the sense of I don't think Frank is going to step in and you know play his big role. But this is the type of swing I want to make. Like a, a top ten pick a handful of years ago that is still 23 has a 610 you know wingspan that yeah he has shot 32 percent from three in his career but let's take a swing at him I'm, I'm all down for this that played for a team for a couple of years there that struggled to develop young like young talent right like we've seen yeah. guys go through the knicks organization and just not get developed now you could say the same thing for the mavs but maybe a change of scenery just be great for him and this you know what he is now coaching <laughs> what he's the new delon Wright, josh richardson <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what he is <laughs> we've been tracking for those that those that, that miss that we've been tracking the mavericks have been trying to get this you know combo guard kind of you know defensive guard next to to luca and so they went with uh i guess the first year was maybe west matthews and then the next year they go with uh delon Wright, and then they're like okay well that didn't work now we're gonna go with josh richardson the next season to kind of go an upgrade there, and now they've maybe gone back down <laughs> with Frank Nilakina. Uh, but what does Frank Nilakina actually bring to this team? What are we expecting? If he actually makes the roster, what does he bring? For me, the first thing I thought of was okay, like you said, this is a flyer, this is a low risk, you're not gonna have to sign him to a big deal, and he's a good defensive player. Uh, someone asked me if he's a secondary creator, no, not even close, like he's not even that's not even part of his game. He's gonna get some assists, he'll make some good passes, he'll make some good decisions. He has been working on his three point shot. That was kind of the big deal for him coming out in the draft. Can Let me he check get his better? Instagram. Can he get better at shooting and shooting the three point shot? If he improves in that area, then he can be a really pretty viable three and D player. Cause he is a really good defensive player. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to be his role. And also now all of a sudden you have Neil Aquina, who's 23. You have, you know, Moses Brown and Josh, uh, and, and our, yeah, Moses Brown and Josh green that are all of a sudden, uh, going to be 21 soon, and Moses Brown maybe 22 soon, and then Tyrell Terry, who's 20. So now all of a sudden you have this young core of of guys at the end of this bench, and if I think if one of those guys becomes a solid rotation player for the Mavericks this year, that's a pretty big win. Yeah, and it's like once again, let's do the whole thing again. Who who's been the best point guard that he's played with? You know, in New York and his short career, and I'm not saying that that is the the end all tell all of why he hasn't, you know, been this massive player as a top 10 pick, but let's see him alongside Luca. I think a lot of people, any, any player, any top 10 pick that it's like, Hey, let's just see what he looks like next to Luca. Will we, will we see him next to Luca though? Probably not, but you know what? Let's be, <laughs> let's have fun with it. And, uh, but defense, Hey, guess, guess who's younger. Frank Nilakina, Jalen Brunson. Nilakina's younger. He is. Yeah. Yeah, I had to look that up because because you could put Luca in that young core. By the way, too, he's young. He's young. Yeah. He's just as young as all those guys in Nilakina. But uh, all, all those four, th four guys I mentioned are also younger than the, both of the Mavs two way guys, which is kind of funny. So they have this young core at the end of the bench. It'd be interesting to see what if. I mean, but could he honestly, play the could he play the Delon Wright role though? Like that that's the could you see a hey like Brunson is coming in Frank Nilakina like. He he is kind of like a, a different type of guard, you know, than Brunson that that can come off the bench and say, "Hey, play the Delon Wright role off the bench, whatever that is." And 